Okay. Um, who do you think has the ability to be dating multiple people? Like, who has a better ability to do that, men or women? Because you said, well, a lot of guys do this. Ergo, women should do it too because men do it. I think it's only fair that both do it. I mean, mm. in the in the talking stages in the dating world, I think that some people only talk to one person at a time, but I think majority of people who are looking for a long-term relationship, they go on dates with multiple people at the same time to kind of feel it out. Now, you said it's only fair if both do it. Is it going back to the previous discussion, is it only fair that women pay for dates? Or pay for their selves on dates, excuse me? If a woman wants to pay for herself on a date, she can, but I don't think that's the norm. Why not? Because of what I said before, there's chivalry. Men, a lot of men still want to, at least for the first couple dates, pay to show romantic interest. No, none, none, none of them anymore want to pay for they dates They don't want anymore. to do that anymore? No. Well, then they're probably not getting second or third dates. So, right. so well, then, well, then, well, then it's not really a matter of, because you kind of frame this like, I'm doing this big favor to them by allowing them to embrace their chivalrous nature and pay for my date. Wow, how nice of me to do that for them. But as it turns out, that's not really the case. The case is that you just want them to pay for the date, right? That's actually what the case is. I think because it shows romantic interest. I think a lot of women, if a man doesn't pay for the first or second date, they think, oh, maybe this guy is just interested in being friends. Or they see a, down the line, oh, we're going to be going 50-50 on everything if I'm already paying 50-50 for a first date. Or if I'm paying fully for the first date, then what, what makes me think this man's not gold digging after me? Yeah, but if, I mean, if he's going 50-50 with you... Um, I, I don't understand what the, what's the actual problem with that. On the first couple dates, I think a lot of women, it's kind of like guys are keeping it safe. Like, oh, I don't want to spend all this money on this girl. But you know that if they were with like their dream woman, then they would have usually no problem paying the entire thing. So it's kind of showing well, their interest Well, couldn't you just reverse level. the logic there and say, okay, if you're with your dream man, you'd have no problem paying for everything? Personally, my dream man would not have me paying for everything. Yeah, but that's beside the point, right? So I understand that's not your preference, but couldn't the logic itself be applied the same way? So if you say um, the type of man, my dream guy, the dream guy is going to pay for everything, uh, wouldn't the reverse of that for the man be, okay, the dream girl pays for everything? Wouldn't that be the same standard applied? Sure, if if that's what their dream woman does, then that's their dream woman. You can't argue that. So how is, how is the idea that you want them to pay for the meal anything short of entitlement? I don't think it's entitled. I think that, what is he doing? <laughs> I'm sorry. I think... I'm, so, I'm sorry. I think that's just kind of how our society has normally been, that men show chivalry through these acts of whether it be Paying holding for all your shit, <laughs> not all of it, but I think at the very beginning of dating, there is the courting phase where a man will, should bring flowers, should uh, hold the doors open and pay for the date. Wait, what does the woman do? Just show up. Yes. I was going to say, yeah, what should women do then? You should show up looking your best and prepared for the date. And I would hope so that nothing. So nothing. Not, so the expectation is I that would, you put on makeup and show up. That's really the makeup's expectation. Makeup's pretty expensive. Oh boy. Oh. Do we have to it's do the math on this? Wait, is that the justification though? Is this just like a summary of the podcast? What is? What this person oh, here, dragging we'll, we'll somebody pull it up later. who would never we'll, had a chance we'll pull with it up any later. of us anyway. We'll pull it up later. Disregard. Um, no, I think that women go into dates with the expectation, some women, of that I want this to be a long-term committed relationship. And I think a guy even having a woman give them the courtesy of going on a date with them when so many women are nervous and afraid to go out one-on-one -on, -one on dates with men, like, yeah, I think... So it's a privilege. 
It's a privilege to pay a, for your day. I think it's, it's a, a privilege. privilege. Yeah, I think it's a privilege to be seen out in public with a woman you find attractive. There are so there so wait, so it's not that women are privileged in that you're privileged because you have the expectation that men will pay for, for the dates they go on. It's actually that men are privileged because they're allowed to take you on a date. They should be grateful yeah, those sons I mean, of bitches. To even back in the day to even like be on a date with a woman you had to usually like ask her father and uh, have a good job and already have some type of like thing you could provide to her to even get yeah, that's an appeal date. you're just appealing to history right that is not the day we live in that is not the age we live in some people you definitely like don't me. have to ask women's fathers to take you them on don't. dates you... some do though and there's some people who are still old-fashioned in that sense yeah, but there's expectations that came with that. So, from the, for instance, the, the expectation for chivalry, you can't just give the one side of the coin and say, well, once upon a time, men were very chivalrous, and they were only, um, you know, when they would take us on dates, they'd pay for everything, they would bring us flowers, et cetera, et cetera. That's all true. But what about the other side of the coin, which was the women's responsibility? Like, well, oh, here's one. You only date one guy at a time, Right. You're not dating any other guy while you're dating one guy. That would be a, a responsibility that the woman had. Uh, they're always on time. They're always presentable. Also, they're good company. That would have been a requirement for them as well. None of those are requirements for women now. Why would any of those be requirements for men? I mean, for some men, having a woman who's good company is a requirement. And those women who don't bring that to the table for that particular guy also don't get second or third dates. Yeah, but your expectation isn't that just traditional men pay for the dates. The expectation would be non-traditional men also pay for the dates, right? If you're a non-traditional man, and then you wouldn't necessarily pay for the date. That makes sense. But most traditional men would pay for a first date. And is that what you're after as a traditional man? Um, I'm kind of in the middle because uh, I'm not planning to be a stay-at-home mom, so I don't need someone who's a full-blown provider. So then why do they pay for the date? I don't get why. What? Because what are they, they paying for the date for? They if they're value traditional, and they're traditional men. They value that a woman is out being their company and they enjoy the company. Do you think that when men were chivalrously paying for everything for women, that they would have the expectation that the women would be virgins? Um, probably back in the day, yeah. Yeah, and do you think that they can have any such expectation now? Some men, yeah. Some men do want women who are virgins. No, no, no. Do you think that they can have the expectation that almost any woman they go on a date with is actually going to be a virgin in this day and age? They could ask beforehand or they could get to know yeah, the no, woman but and figure it out. That's not my question. My question is, do you think that most men would have the expectation that basically any woman they went on a date with would be a virgin? I think it depends on how they met the woman. If it's off of a random dating app, then perhaps... Wait, I just got to come in on that. But do random women on dating apps have the expectation that men should pay for first dates? Usually, <laughs> yeah, I think so. Yeah. But, but we just can't, because a woman is not a virgin doesn't mean you don't yeah. pay for the first date. Yeah, but, that, but here's the thing. So all you're doing is saying that men should have this holdover responsibility of chivalry from a bygone era where they had the expectation that the women that they were with were only dating them and also were virgins. Don't you think that that's kind of a raw end of the deal for men now? Well, men nowadays can. You know, it's legal to go 50-50 or have a woman pay on a first date. It's not illegal. It's just preferences. It never was. Yeah, it's just preferences. So, um, sure, men back in the day wanted to go and pay for everything for specifically a virgin. And now the goalpost has shifted where men want to go on dates with women and they may or may not be virgins. But it's kind of an odd thing to ask before well, almost going none on of the them first are going, date. Well, wait, almost none of them are going to be. Almost none. Okay, then they should hold out for someone who is if that's what they want. Right. But why? So basically, if, if a woman or if, if a man would have the preference of a very low body count or virgin woman... And it goes out on any date with a woman who isn't that. Uh, why the hell would he pay for everything? That just makes no sense. Then he wouldn't, and that's not the girl for him. So I understand him wanting to go 50-50, but also... Me too. There wouldn't be a first date. Like I, I think if you have these... Um, sort of, not rule breakers, but like dating uh, non-negotiables then that's something that you should probably put in the talking stage before you go on a physical date with that person and spend your hard-earned money. Yeah, but why should there be an expectation 
if a woman is not traditional, she slept with like many, many men, for instance, okay, or any number of these non-traditional traits that modern women have, why should they have any expectation to have any sort of traditionalism out of a man, like paying for dates, opening doors, and chivalry? I don't even understand. How is that anything other than entitlement? I'm not going to do any of the expectations for the things that women used to do for this chivalry, but I still want the chivalry. Can you explain how that's not actually entitlement? I guess it's just to each their own. Like, I... I would expect a man to not be a virgin, but or I would I would expect a, yeah a man to not be a virgin, but still be wanting to pay on a first date. So why myself going on a first date potentially as a non-virgin would I expect a man to not want to pay? I mean, if yeah, men- so I mean if you, if you're not a virgin and he's not a virgin, I still don't understand why he's paying here. <laughs> That, yeah, I mean, his I men still value that. having a woman to go out with. If he didn't want to pay, he didn't want to be there. He wouldn't ask the person on the <laughs> date in the first place. Well, that's bizarre. If you wouldn't accept, I would hope if you didn't want to be there and didn't want to go with him, unless it was just for the purpose of getting like a free dinner out of it. No, I don't think most women are going. Well, on then, if first it's not, if you're that. not going to get free shit, then you're there for the same reason he's there. Right? No, I'm there to see if there's potential for a long term relationship. The I think a lot that of. He's there for? I think he's there for the potential of a long term relationship or a short term relationship. I think. So, I think so men would go any out other woman. With any so, woman. every. But that's the preferences of almost anybody. So, any woman going out with a man, it could be the same thing, right? But the thing is, I assume that if a man asks you out, you're not there because you want free shit. You're there because you want to know the potentiality of having a long-term relationship with him. Yes. If that is the case, then again, you haven't really shown me why he's supposed to pay for everything other than you just want him to. <laughs> well, we answered the love at first sight question. So most of us agree that love at first sight isn't a thing, but attraction and wanting to get to know the person further is. So if you've been messaging on a dating app or you met in person, you already have this initial attraction and want to get to know the person yep. more. So then if you're a guy and you want the chance of getting to know a woman further, usually you would pay for the date and not go 50-50 because... Well, wait, 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 wait. Doesn't the, isn't the woman going on the date to also do the same thing, get to know him further? Otherwise, why is she going? Yeah, and I want to know what kind of guy you are. And if you're going to make me pay for the bill or split, that's, to me, a bad sign of a long-term relationship. Like, you're already expecting off the bat... For me to be paying half. Why is that an unreasonable expectation? Just for me personally, it's just not my cup of tea. I just don't think that it shows true romantic interest. Like I want them to be investing in the relationship, not only t- not only time, but also some finances. I mean, it seems like a complete double standard, but I won't belabor the point. I think that's why a lot of guys maybe don't get second or third dates because. Sometimes it's just from splitting the bill, maybe. Some women just don't like that approach. But also, I think maybe if the chemistry and the vibe is off, and even if the guy pays the whole bill, they might not get a second or third date because the vibe's just off. It just kind of depends on the person you're dating. Hmm. I thought it was like, because biologically men... Wait, 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 do you think that the vibe... Wait, I just want to make sure I'm clear on this. You do you th- you would not date. Let's say he's Mr. Perfect. He's in the looks department, personality, everything else. But he just says, "Look, uh, I don't think it's fair for me to have to pay for the for the entirety of this date if we're both here for the same purpose." You're saying that's a disqualifier for you, even though all the other marks are checked. If it's like a first or second date, I wouldn't find it very attractive. But after a while, I think that. You know, going back and forth on paying for dates after you get to know the person, but I really want to see um, effort on the guy's part that they're invested in getting to know me. Well, let me just ask you, I'll follow up this last thing. If it were the case that a man told you, asked you out, and said that he did not want to pay for the date, would you consider that a red flag? Yes then why do you have the expectation that he wouldn't see the same red flag with you if he refused? I think a lot of guys do. Um, 
like they don't like a woman who just expects men to pay on the first date. Um, which you are one of those women. But my expectations come from my lived reality, which is that pretty much for the most part, every date I've been on, the guy has paid. Um, but come towards the second or third date, I'll offer to split, and most of the time, they don't want to. Well, how magnanimous of you. Uh, okay, I, I appreciate the, uh, the back and forth there. Oh, I was just going to say, I just thought that it was because biologically men were providers and protectors and women were nurturers and caretakers. So I thought biologically we would look for those traits and they would look for that in us. Like, yeah, so I don't, uh, I don't dispute that I think uh, the ontology of men and women follows this pedigree. However, I think that if that is true, aren't women supposed to be acting in that pedigree and not acting in some other manner, meaning, okay, I want a provider, and I want a provider to take care of me, and uh, et cetera, et cetera, and in this case, you, the woman's the nurturer, blah, 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 blah. But if that's the case, and you want to do this the correct way, why, would the expect, why wouldn't the expectation of the man be then that you did everything in that traditional way, meaning that your virginity or low body count at the very least, or uh, the submission portion of this, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Why wouldn't he have those expectations? It's like you can't ask him to provide you with all those things and then not give your end of that, right? Otherwise, uh, you know, what are you, what are you doing here? Yeah, I'm just saying that biologically we just feel that way. Like, that's just the way we yeah. feel. Okay. I guess biologically men also prefer women who are not promiscuous and virgins, but... <laughs> biologically men like paying for dates, Brian. <laughs> yeah. Well, this all stemmed from... I think this all stemmed from we were talking about rotational dating. Women, you said, well, men do this. Men... They date multiple women at the same time, so women should do the same. And then I think I, that's how we got back into it about, well, so then women should pay because that's what men do. It's not illegal to pay for a first date if you're a woman. You can, but I just think that typically women are under the assumption that if a man asks them out and wants to get to know them further, mm -hmm. that they would be more than happy to pay for a first date. Uh, sure, yeah, most men are more, probably more than happy to pay for the first date, but the thing is is that I, as a man, can never go into a date with these same expectations that women can go into. Are a you date. going on a date with another man? How I don't see how that's. Then you even can an maybe argument. have that expectation of getting know, your date what, paid for with a man. That's not that doesn't map on one to one about the conversation we're having because we're talking about women dating men and men dating women. It's not even clear to me. I don't know how gay guys like, go about it. I thought they just. I I didn't think that. I don't know how they do it. You don't know? Yeah, I don't know how You're kind of giving vibes like you might know. <laughs> BLM. What? Wait, how does labia get come into this? It comes into everything. Yeah, yeah. Well, it gets cummed in. But... Well, what the fuck, oh. you degens? Um, well, like, you're upset I... because you want the expectation to be a man goes into a date with a woman and she would pay, right? No, he's saying the what? expectation that if he would prefer, even... if women prefer men to pay for dates, they equally could have the same expectation that women would not be promiscuous. The argument was, oh. why do you Hail and well is... met. Oh, look at, oh, look at who it is. donated $200.02. It's simple, Andrew. She needs to get paid for her time. Same as any other escort. Call it what it is, prostitution. Modern women are trash. Hey, it's just disavow. the way I feel your energy disavow. is that of a pool. Lil Paladins, we do not tolerate that that misogyny disavow. Um, go ahead with your... That's just simply what the argument oh. is. It's just if you Wait, if you expect to be paid for for the first day, and I'm not citing well, it's, but side. it's even more pointed, right? I mean, she's she's right, but it's even more pointed than that. It's just to ask... Oh, I want to be a boss babe, and I want to not be a stay-at-home mom, and I don't want to give you children, and I don't want to do any of the traditional shit that men would want in their provider role, the things that they get out of it. I don't want to do any of that shit, but I want all the perks 
of as though I am providing all of those things. And it's like, at that point, isn't it delusional to have that expectation? But you're not like, providing... The whole panel, wouldn't that be delusional? You're not providing those things on the first date. You're, the well, first you're already date... signifying Wait, that oh, you are providing that. Yes. Wait, first date? The what? The woman shouldn't what? Woman shouldn't pay. Oh. Well, I was actually going to sort of relate it to that. I was going to ask. But hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, though, real quick. Before you go into that, yes, there is a signifier here. If you're saying, I, will, I like a traditional man who's going to pay for my, uh, even the first date, you are sending out the signal that you are a traditional woman, right? That is what you are essentially inferring. And so, of course, you're going to show up on the first date and feel like you got robbed. He's going to be like, what the fuck kind of bullshit is this? You don't want to be a stay-at-home mom. You don't want to, and you still got to pay for the first date? That seems absurd, right? Well, at least in the relationship that I'm actually in, uh, my boyfriend and I have discussed having children in the future, and it's not that I have decided I'm not going to be a stay-at-home mom, I'm crushing your dreams, it's that we both agree that having kids is probably not something that we want to do together. So I don't think that just because a woman doesn't want to be a stay-at-home mom or have someone's children... Did, that... he, pay, did he pay for the first date? Yeah. Sucker. What a sucker. But, Wait, all right. But I'm in a relationship with him now. Wait, question. Yeah, he's as big a sucker now as he was when he paid for those first two days. I don't think he's he would agree with that. Wait, so you've been dating this guy for six months? Is Around. he? You guys live together? Yeah. Does he, do you guys split rent? No, because he owns the property. Mm. So? Amen. It's not rent. Does he pay mortgage? His, it's complicated because he, his, fam, it, his family is involved. Well, does his family own the property? Yeah, him and his family own the property. Does his family live on the property? Uh, or is him it just and his him? brother. Okay. But I'm assuming... But I help with, I help with some of the bills. What bills? Um, I help with rent and I Wait, have... Wait, didn't I just ask that? Yes. Well, well like I help with mortgage, but it's, like, it's not rent per se. It's just like helping with utilities and stuff. Wait, so is it rent? Is it utilities? Is it? I would consider it rent because it's not my mortgage. I don't own the property, but uh, f I guess I just help with like the household stuff that they So you need pay, to pay rent? For. A little, yeah, I guess. Or do you pay utilities? Uh, whatever they or put both. the money towards. Because it's not technically a rent. Like to me it is, but for them it's a mortgage. Well, I mean, but that it's essentially rent because you're not paying the mortgage directly i'm assuming you're giving them money for you to live there yeah. and they're putting it towards, towards the mortgage, mortgage like any other, other like any other expense. landlord would do yeah um does and what about dates does he pay for dates yeah and i've talked to him about it too i've i've mentioned you know if you want me to pay a certain amount like for dates and stuff like if money is ever tight mm -hmm. like let me know and he says no there are date nights like he wants to provide them. Hmm. Um, okay. Doesn't seem very egalitarian. What do you mean? Hundreds. He's paying. He's paying for everything, pretty much. Well, I pay a portion of the rent. So, well, much, my own rent. How much do you pay? If... As personal. All right, but that's let's say it's. A, I feel like it's very affordable. Do you pay as much for the accommodations that you're receiving? Do you pay as much as you would get, uh, as you would pay in the open market for a similar or comparable property? No. The perks. Um, okay. So, dating for six months. Around. Around six months. Um, he pays for mostly everything then? Um, I'll like, you know, his birthday's coming up, so I've gotten him some gifts and I've paid for a couple of the dates. Like he, um, when we first started dating, I told him about my like weight loss journey I've been on and that in the first month I lost 20 pounds because did you say, I'm sorry, did you say your journey? It's a journey. I'm on it. That's a journey. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh -huh. so, go ahead. Go ahead. So my first month I did no fast food, no takeout, just groceries. I lost like 20 pounds, so that was pretty sweet. Thanks, people in chat who probably recommended that on the last podcast I was on. Um, so I did it, and so I told my now boyfriend about it. He finished the challenge, 
And so, um, yeah, I, I rewarded how him. Long, how long have you guys been living together? Um, probably like two months. What's the distribution of the household chores? Uh, we kind of take turns, uh, but I, I, we both do cooking and cleaning. Um, there is a, I think, like, housekeeper maid who comes, like, every couple weeks to do, like, deep cleaning. Do you do, do, you do the laundry? Um, I do my own laundry and some of his laundry, but it's not, like, on a consistent basis that we're, like, always doing laundry. Right? So he pays for all the dates. You get heavily discounted rent, perhaps... Uh, but you don't, the cooking is 50, 50, um, or does he, he's do actually a really good cook and he's really good at baking. So he likes to do those things. And I help him as his like sous chef when he cooks and then I'll take on cooking some who, of the meals. Who cleans the dishes? Whoever cooks cleans the dishes. But it sounds like he does most of the cooking. Not most. Oh, cooks clean the dishes. Yeah, that's, I feel like that's you know, crazy. Yeah, when I cook for my friend, he cl- like the one I don't like when he cooks. I only cook, and he cleans everything. So, it's... I have a question. So, would you do you agree with the following statement? Men should pay for first dates. Yes. Okay. Women should cook and clean. Sure. Yes. You should. Yeah. You're fine with that statement. That's fine. Is it a sexist statement? That women should cook and clean. This is the sexist statement. I think it depends on the relationship, if that's kind of what the expectation is. I think that most relationships nowadays, people kind of take on whatever works with their schedule. So if he's out, you know, working, he helps with filming stuff, then um, I'd be on my own to cook. But we, we kind of plan our meals out and figure out who's going to be cooking what, which day, depending on just like life schedules. Women should be submissive. It depends on the woman. But, I mean, if you have a man that you can trust to lead, sure. Okay. It depends. But you wouldn't say the same thing about uh, men should pay. It depends on the man. You would say... I think it depends on the man. I think some men who... Some men are like sugar babies. But here's the thing, right? So, as a woman, you can go into a date with the expectation of this guy's going to pay for the date or the, the, I suppose the minimum is we might have to split. Like you can, girls go on dates, sometimes the guy splits. Um, there's typically never an expectation that the woman's going to go into date with the expectation that she's going to pay for the whole bill. As a man, it's impossible. The best I can hope for is maybe split but I'm going in with the expectation that I'm going to pay for the whole thing. I don't think there's any da- like dating meta that exists where a guy can go into a date expecting the woman to pick up the entire tab. Yeah, if she's a sugar mama. Okay, but yes, that happens, but it's exceptionally rare. Yeah. Most women are not going to tolerate that kind of uh, arrangement. Okay. Wait, what's the question then? He's saying, like, generally, most men, when they walk into a first date, they knowingly have the instinct that I am most likely, if not going to, have to pay the entire bill. I may, by chance, pay 50% of it, but I'm most likely, if not expected to, pay 100% of that bill. The woman, on the other hand, does not have that pressure. She does not have that pressure of anything else. She has the pressure of arriving Maybe she wants to clean up. Maybe she does not. But that is what he's playing out is just there is a simple expectation of men, that of which is not equivalent to that of what is placed onto women on first dates. Why is that doing? Why is that being so? That's all it is. And is there a reason that women have any offering towards that? Do women offer anything in addition to that of why they 100% should be taken care of on that first date or that of maybe why they should be even just considerably paying only 50% of that bill? That's the argument. Why? Right? Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, Well, I won't belabor it (laughs) for too much longer, but uh, I I suppose the, and maybe this is hypothetical, the question is, do non-traditional women deserve traditional treatment or chivalry? Yeah. Why not? 
I think that if you're going into a first date and you're looking to have a woman's time and attention, a thank you for the time and attention, even if it doesn't lead to a long-term relationship, could be paying for the first date because women, like we are aware of like so wait, that women have more to lose if they go on a first date than a man does. Well, okay, we can get into that, but you said that the woman's time and attention, so is it your position that women ought to be pedestalized, essentially? I think it happens. Sure, it happens. Yeah. But do you think that's what should happen? I think that's what works. That's what works. Okay. For our society. Um, you said that women have more to lose when going on a first date. What does that mean? Um, a woman could get pregnant on a first date if they decide to uh, partake in that, or even if they don't, if something happens uh, where a woman can't consent, uh, there is the risk of that. There's a risk of getting, um, you know, kidnapped or trafficked or just Can a lot. Can it be the same for both? Uh, it's less you'd likely getting, for men. No, you'd be getting a girl pregnant and you have to deal with it just as much as a woman getting pregnant. That's a good point. That's and good point. to get kidnapped and stuff, if you're talking about dating apps, it could be a setup. You could yeah. be getting set up. It's, I think it's just as likely you know a man for a guy yeah i don't think it's as likely uh just like you know celebrities and stuff they've came out and said like you know back okay in their... but but even if i were to grant for a second that this is correct i think that you're right to one small degree that maybe the chances of um of like sa or things like that uh for women of course are going to be higher than men probably on a date i wouldn't even dispute that that's true However, the likelihood of a woman getting taken advantage of on a first date is not nearly as high as that of a man, meaning most men are not going to do this. The overwhelming majority, I'm talking 99 point something percent, are not going to do anything to you on the first date. But they could definitely get taken advantage of. And uh, I think you could, if you're... You could, you, hang on, hang on, let me finish the point, and then you can respond to it. They could easily get uh, taken advantage of by, let's say, oh, I don't know, a woman who's not really interested in them having to pay for the entire date, pay for their dinner, pay for their night out, pay for their drinks, pick them up, drop them off. The whole thing is on their dime. And let's not pretend that women don't do this all the time. I would say that men are running a much higher realistic uh, risk than women are. The risk of this happening to a woman on the first date is is not very realistic. It's extremely rare. Whereas for men, this happening to them is extremely common. It happens nonstop all the time. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised. Let me just ask you this and be honest with me. Have you ever gone out with a guy because he paid for the whole thing and you just wanted to have a nice night out? No, I usually will go on dates with guys because I see potential in a relationship. Okay, well, how many women here have, have gone out with a guy because they just wanted to have a nice night out? None of you? Really? I think majority okay. of women who have self-esteem and find themselves to be attractive typically are not go and have money, typically don't go out with men just for free things. Okay, well, let me ask this question a different way. How many of you women have gone out with a guy and had a first date with him and then never talked to him again after that or never went back out with him? Yeah. But that's on the guy, not the woman. I'm sure it is, yeah. I'm sure that, that, I'm sure that there was never any type of motivation, that you weren't really that into him, but you went anyway just because, well, it was free. So two things to say to, to this. The first thing is, if you're very afraid as a man to pay on a first date because you think a woman is scamming you, you should be vetting the women that you go on dates with Yeah, you can by better. asking them to pay for half the date, right? That seems like a really easy way to vet it. I think you could vet before the date and probably figure out if they're the type of yeah, woman. Yeah, you can by asking them if they're willing to pay for 50% of the date. If they're willing to pay for 50% of the date, then I think that who's... she's probably not going to scam you. But if she's not willing to, I think that your risk, wouldn't you say that your risk drastically as a man goes up of being scammed by a woman for just having a free date by the fact that she demands that you pay for the entirety of the date. And don't you think it decreases drastically if she's willing to pay for 50%? My second point is... I think I can answer to my first point. 
I mean, I am answering. The, fir the first thing I said was that if you're so concerned about a woman scamming you, you should be vetting them before you get on the first date with them. Yeah, but wouldn't an easy way to do that be to just ask them to pay for 50% of the date? That's after you guys have already been on the date, though. Why do you, why do you need to go on a date in order to ask them if they'll pay for 50% of the date up front? It just doesn't happen usually. But my second point here. Yeah, but that doesn't answer to the question. The question is, wouldn't a great way to mitigate getting scammed by women who just want free dates and free shit from you be to just ask them to pay 50%? Wouldn't that greatly mitigate this risk for men? If you are so concerned about the 50% that you're going to have to pay to have a woman out on a date, perhaps you can't afford to have a woman. Maybe, well, wait, that doesn't even follow. You could have a million dollars in the bank and still ask a woman to pay for 50% of the first date. But you wouldn't need to because you have Yeah, the you funds. don't need to, but that's not the point. So I'm going to ask the question again. You've, this is the fourth time you've avoided it, so I'm going to ask one more time. Okay. Isn't it true that a great way to mitigate getting scammed on a date as a man would be to ask a woman to pay for 50% of the date. Wouldn't that be a great way to mitigate getting scammed by sure, women? Sure, you can definitely Thank ask, you. but I don't think that a woman who doesn't want to go 50% No, 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 no. I didn't ask if you could ask. I didn't scammer. ask if you could ask. Wait, I didn't ask if you could ask that. I know they can ask that. I asked if it would be true that if a woman would be willing to pay for 50% of the date, the chances she's just scamming him to go on a free date would be drastically lower because after all, why would she pay for 50% of the date if she just wanted the free date, right? But Isn't, I don't- Doesn't that follow? I need, I, well, wait, I don't, I don't think you anything much. else uh, uh, that's tangential to this. I want you to say yes or no, that would mitigate scamming of, of women trying to get free dates, yes or no? Would that mitigate it or not mitigate it? I don't think Need you that to women are yes going to be scamming. No. Would that mitigate it or not mitigate it? Women aren't scamming, You're gonna though. gonna need that yes or no from you. Gonna need yes, gonna need no. Just Would it yes mitigate or no. it or yes. not mitigate it? Yeah, you should definitely ask a woman to pay 50% before even meeting her to go on a first date. So again, I'm going to ask this one more time. Can you just answer yes or I no? I said when yes, it, actually it assists... would. Yes. Yes. Okay, thank you. But I don't think the woman's a scammer because she doesn't want to go out with a guy who wants her to pay 50% of the date. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, but that, nobody said that a woman is a scammer. But you're scammer. saying would it reduce no, scamming? No, 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 stop. Stop. I didn't say that does not mean the wo any women are, sc are scamming because they're asking a man to pay for 50% of the date. What it does mean, though, is that men get scammed for free dates all the time, and it would be a great way to mitigate that. That doesn't mean that I don't a woman think that's asking, a good way. On, I doesn't mean a woman way. asking for that is scamming them. Now, I never, never said that. I just said a great way to mitigate getting scammed would be to ask for 50%, right? I, honestly, I don't think it's a good way. Oh, okay, well then, can you explain to me how your risk of getting scammed on a date would go up if the woman pays for 50% of it? If the woman's paying for 50% of no, the date, you are not yeah, you likely... you don't need to repeat my question back to me. You just answer the question. You're not likely you to get a second. Can you explain to me how your chances would go up of getting scammed for a free date if a woman pays for 50% of the date. Can Are you, you more concerned me? about getting scammed by a woman or finding you're your future wife? You're not answering the question. Why do you avoid questions like the plague? Just answer the question. You don't have to ask me a question, just answer the question. Can you explain to me how your chances of getting scammed would increase on a, a first date if a woman paid for 50% of the date? Can you explain how your chances Hail and well up? met. Lol Paladins donated $200 and two cents. I have dated a lot, more than Andrew, and I'm a multi-millionaire. A good way of weeding out chicks like this scammer is to take them out to KFC or Twisted Teas in the park. Yeah, but I mean, I don't even disagree with that, but, but you, hang Lol on, Paladins. don't answer to that, don't answer to that. Answer to my question, <laughs> please. Can you explain to me how your chances how your chances of getting scammed would increase if a woman paid for 50% of the first date? You won't be getting a second date she for already, the most part. No, but prior to the date, she already agreed to paying the 50%. If she already so agreed to pay, the date, then she doesn't care. Then she's really curious about going out 
With learning more about you, I guess. And wouldn't that decrease your chance of getting scammed on that date for a free date? Sure, but I think women yes. who have high self-esteem, for the most part, want to go out with a guy who's showing them that they are willing to invest in the relationship. Uh, I have a couple things here on that. Um, you uh, used to do sex work, right? Uh, OF. So sex work? Essentially. Okay. Um, do you think men with high self-esteem would refuse to go on a date with a sex worker, even yeah, a past sex worker? I think so. I think it depends uh, on the type of okay. guy and their values. Some men are fine with it. Uh, others aren't. It just depends on their values. Okay. Um, so let me read a couple chats here because uh, Ava has to uh, leave, but we'll kind of jump right back into it. We have uh, Killa, I can't pull it up, but Killa of Serial said, did it ever used to be a trial by death if two people of different religions were sharing carnal knowledge of each other, like in the way back days or currently? Trial by death if two people of different religions. So he's basically asked if she... Well, it wasn't really a trial by death. You would just, in some religions, just get put to death. <laughs> hmm. Is that... I, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I mean... Isn't it the case for these religions that even just premarital sex is well for many bad. religions you're not allowed to date outside of that religion or right. have a relationship outside of that mm. religion. Well you're definitely not allowed to marry. Sometimes sure. you can date outside of it, but you're not allowed to marry outside mm. of it. We have Danny M. I'm in my soft guy era. I want to be wined and dined on a date. Why should I have to pay for the date? Aren't men and women equal now? Quick he answer. He admitted he's in his soft guy era and it's giving that. Yeah, but so like why should he have to pay for the date? If he's a soft guy and he's looking for a woman to pay on the date, that's his right. But what? But you're saying, okay, let's say your position is you think, well, men should pay, women should not tolerate men wanting to split. So why? Yes, we get that men can want it, but why should men pay? Because I think men understand that women are looking more for a provider type, and it kind of shows off the bat that they're willing to provide at least a, a little bit of um, their expendable income on Yes, them. so we get that women want men to pay. Why should men pay? Because don't men want women? But, yeah, <laughs> sure. But what is the argument from women as to why men should do it. Like, what's the I actual mean, argument? She's kind of consistent on this point, right? So the consistency on this point is just to say she believes from her, from her paradigm that women are a prize and that if you want the prize, you got to pay for the prize. Mm -hmm. Right? Isn't that basically what you're saying? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think women who have high enough self-esteem to see themselves as a prize would conduct themselves accordingly. Yeah, that's consistent, but I just I, I just want to ask you this, since, since it is consistent. Do you think that a man with high self-esteem should see the woman as the prize, or should he see himself as the prize? They should both want to be king and queen of the castle. They okay. should both... Do kings... Wait, wait, I'm sorry. If kings pay for the queen, isn't the queen supposed to serve the king? To a certain extent, yeah. Well, I'm not so sure that you know what kings and queens do. Well, he pays. That's all that matters. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we have... That's not all I think, that I think you got to be consistent here, too. I think it's consistent to say that you think women are the prize. I think that that's consistent to say that men should pay because you think that women are the prize. That's totally consistent. I can at least understand where, where your thought process comes from there. That makes sense to me. But what man who considers himself to be high value or to have high value or to have high self-esteem would ever accept in a million years, he's not the prize. Isn't that what makes him the, the guy who's high value and high status? I'm the prize, not you. I think that that's kind of devaluing the woman. If a guy has it's high... Right. If a, you're devaluing him. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Because a guy who has high self-esteem would want a woman by his side who he can 
you know, show off that he Paid has <laughs> got. Yeah, I mean, who has? No, that sounds like a sucker, a not a high, not a, not a guy who has high self-esteem. Why would a high self-esteem guy who thought of a lot of himself and was highly confident go? Oh, you know what? I'll just go pay for all your fucking shit. You know, you have to do anything. I just want to flex. I just want to show you how great I am. Wouldn't that be the opposite of high self-esteem to do that? To have to impress you? Wouldn't that be low self-esteem? No, I think a lot of men gain value in monetary things because they want to be able to have a high status woman. I think that's a lot of the... Wait, a high status woman... Well, that's I that's really weird. Wait a second. If if you think you're going to get a high status woman, your high status man, right? You think that the only way to do that is to give her your money. It's not just about the money. It's showing that you're willing to invest in the relationship. So not only money, but time and effort. And it takes yeah, effort to make investment, money. What's her investment back in the relationship to a, a guy who considers himself high status? If he, so for, in other words, if, I'm, if I was a multimillionaire and you know, 10 times more handsome than I am, and I wanted some Young chick, Andrew. right? I desired her. Uh, and I said, okay, let's go out and let's have a date. And she just saw me as a wallet. Why would I ever humor that? Wouldn't I just go right you to the next chick? You don't get it. You don't get it. It's not about seeing someone as a wallet. It's about showing that a, as a guy, you are putting in not only your time, but your money and your effort towards getting to know the woman. Yeah, but usually you get something for that. Yeah, you get... Like, do you not value your relationships still, with women? What you're still doing, what you're still doing, is considering the woman the prize. I don't believe that a high status Killing man considers women to be prizes. One hundred dollars. Men need to know that if a woman refuses to pay half, she may refuse to do other things that matter in future when it comes to milestone changes in life together. Hmm. An ethical slash supportive type hmm. pays half. Yo, kill of cereal. Thank you for the uh, TTS, man. By the way, TTS has been lowered to a hundred. Uh, if you guys want to get your, uh, I mean, you're right. I don't get it because I would not ever think that a, a high, a very high status man who was very good looking, who had high self uh, confidence, would ever see a woman as a prize. Why would he? So, do you like not value your relationships with women? Oh, I'm happily married. And you, what? You didn't pay for the first date with your wife. We didn't have a date on our first date where either of us had to pay. We had a picnic. Okay, who brought so the she picnic paid. stuff? I guess she paid then because she made the food. Okay, good for her if that's what yeah. she wants to do. I'm glad that that's yeah. legal. What? 